Hi dragons, what's up? It's Nikita and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are driving around in a Lambo delivering some eggs. It took a good nine months to um, develop some eggs with Daddy Dragon here, but you know, we got things happening. Dragon beauty is a thing and we are delivering eggs to some of the closest people that made the biggest impact with me in the beauty industry and I'm personally, personally delivering eggs today. And we answered some questions. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay, so we're officially in the Lambo. We're starting our deliveries. I'm here with Mikel, Daddy Dragon. I'm trying not to crash. I'm trying not to die. Try not to cry. There's a lot Try, of things. There's a, gotta, there's well, a lot a of lot. things. Yeah. How do we turn off the park? Here we go. There we go. You guys, I literally do not know how to drive. Yeah. Oh wait, I think I go. have to start it. Who's on? Reverse it. Right. Watch your, watch your. Ah! You're good. Let me turn it off. Shall we start? Wait, I'm really scared. Yeah, you think I'm not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a great one to start with. Really? Go. What is the story behind Dragon? So you should not be in first. You should be. How in. am I supposed to know that? What is the story behind Dragon? Okay, so the story behind Dragon is I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Springfield, Virginia. And so I was like the only Asian-y kid um, in school. So everyone, all the boys would make fun of me and say I look like a dragon. Okay. And I was born in the year of the dragon. You see in the Asian culture, it's like a strong symbol of like fire and like hope. And I feel like for me, when I was growing up, I never had any of those things like confidence or like strength or anything. So I feel like I made that dragon character. What is your favorite outfit Nikita has worn of all time? I, I love the one in New York that you wore, the Nike one. Yes. Yeah. I was obsessed was with like space. So like, my favorites of all time was the Coachella one just because it was like my first. You know, that was the first time I ever like did like a crazy fantasy like that and allowed myself to right. do something crazy like that. How do you personally use Dragon Beauty products? So the Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion is the orange color corrector. I use the orange shade to cancel out purple gray undertones. Because you look, if you look at the color wheel, right? Like orange is across from purple. Right. So orange cancels purple. Uh, and with the Dragon Heart Transformation Powders, you can like literally alter how the light hits your face. Well, I like that you don't have like a million products to serve one purpose. Yeah. It's like a packs of punch. It's a little Dragon Egg Transformation Kit. There you go. At Malcolm Harlan says, favorite physical quality excluding face. <laughs> so you could pretty much just say favorite part of the body. <laughs> I guess is what he's asking. Oh my god. Wait, can I start? I actually have a big, wait, I have a good one. Okay. <clears throat> I love Michael's nipples. My nipples? They're so little. I know, they they're are like little. little. You don't have to make like, fun of my little nipples. No, but I love them, they're so yeah. cute. Yeah, they're tiny. They're, they're little cute. Dimes. No, they're so cute. I'm fans, they're my boys, you know. If, Cause it's, it's excluding the fakes, like I obviously like your eyelashes, but it's mm -hmm. like on your face. I would be able to like I'm jealous. I'm definitely more of an ass guy. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're going there? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? No, I'm just like, okay, cool. <laughs> Everyone's like, every, like, Michael's dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what That's they were what waiting they're fucking for. Wanted. That's what they were waiting Favorite for. Favorite part. Love that. But at Juan XO says, has a little pump given you your wig back, mom? Oh, oh my god. So, Give a little recap of the so little, pump little, story. little pump posted yeah. a photo. Is it little or little? Little. Did little. they say little? I think it's little. Yeah. Little. Little pump posted a <laughs> little pump posted a little pump. Little pump. Little. Little pump. Little pump. Yeah. He posted a photo um, with a pink wig. He's like, this thought left her wig here. Da 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 da. And he like had it on, and I just like was stupid and then commented on it. But clearly that was not my wig because. My wig would have never looked that gross. Yeah, first of all, hell no. Second of all, I would have never left it. Yep. Third of all, little pump, like no shade, just oh, like your music, oh, okay. but like just not my type. Okay. All right. Fishing in lilac. Loving it. Oh I created Dragon Beauty because I just was like really wanting to see someone like us like take control of the market and make products for you know 
some girls like us, and they don't get a few. I mean, it's only makeup, but I really think that it's gonna be life changing, and um, it's really gonna shake up the beauty industry for sure. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All you guys shake it up. Thank, Thank you. you. How did you and Nikita meet? We have two separate stories on how yeah. we met. Two different so, recollections. So uh, at the Moschino show last year, last fall, I think it was, the after party, where was that at? I don't even no know vacancy. what place. I think it was at No Vacancy, okay. yeah. Um, at No Vacancy, this little queen walks up and was like, um, hey, are you, uh, you must have asked me, are you that guy from the elevator? Yeah, do you not remember and, what I first said? No, I remember wait, that. Wait, 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 yeah. give me like the first impression. Like I walk up with what, what goes through your head. I remember you had white, the whole white wig going on and like a bright shiny outfit. Shining. And I was like, who the hell is this? And you know, one thing led to another. And then we um, you know, did a video shortly after. And yeah. The rest is history. Um, okay, so this is how it really went down so so I'm like running out of the house I get in the elevator I live on the top floor and then it stops one floor down and it was like midday to paint the scene okay. and then this like tall mother is like in the door frame of the elevator it like opens up and I was like <gasps> and like inside I was probably like <sighs> but then on the outside I was probably like yeah then two days, two or, I don't know, a couple of days later, I went to the party and then I saw you and I was like, oh my God, that's the guy from the elevator, yeah. like making the biggest thing. I approached him and I was just like, hey, like I think I saw you in the elevator the other day. And then he's like, no, right? I think you were like, I've been in a lot of elevators. Yeah. I was like, yo, give me them digits. So how much did you pay him to be your boyfriend? Uh, I straight up got emails and DMs for like months asking me like are you are you available for rent? I have prom, I have I have a wedding, I have this, that, whatever. Dead ass serious. Yeah. I was like, Everyone, Jesus, look at what you did to me, Nikita. Everyone was fully convinced that I full on hired Michael. I mean I think like we're both pretty sarcastic I feel. Yeah. And like I just don't understand how people don't get that and like we were obviously yeah. making a joke out of it. I would never right. hire someone to be my boyfriend. <laughs> it was just a really great video title. Yeah. At uh, Delicated Dragon says, how extra is Nikita on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, you know, surprisingly, you're not. Like, I, I think that when when you're in or in a moment or whatever, you have to be. Because I've seen this girl like get attacked by people before. So like, yeah. you've got to have a public presence, and then you also, you know, got to have have your like me time and whatever and I've seen you in both situations so I've you know I've seen the real you and and I really like the fact that you're not you know you're not extra no matter how much I definitely have my seen, moments so. but I feel like I don't know with you I feel like I could be a show yeah which is different yeah it's important like some, some people I feel like I can only give them the fantasy you know right we have a chill moment I feel like I'm pretty oh, yeah, chill are. you are I've like pulled my I've wheel. told you that you are Yeah. Yes! Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. That's amazing. Trendless, she hasn't leaked it yet. She hasn't leaked it just yet. You should get the hang of the car now, yeah? A little bit. Yeah, are you one with it? You know, like an avatar, I think we're you like gotta bonding the tail. Like over here. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you freak out like that? So Why close. would you freak out like that? Oh my god. So dramatic. I did not freak out. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Guys, we, we almost like, wrecked. No, we did not. This close. No. Okay, at Extra Gay says, <laughs> I'm single AF. Okay. What are some tips on how to find a boo? Ooh. I say let it happen organically. Like Definitely put yourself out there if you like see something and like, you know. But go new places. Go new places. Go the right places. Like if you're trying to like find the somebody, <laughs> the street corner late at night. That's always the best place. Seven Eleven. That's where we met. That's. Where <laughs> you wanna if you wanna find somebody, you know, real like, go to a library or go. A library. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That. No, idea. I don't. Go who the, somewhere. Who the fuck are you meeting in a library? I, my ass is definitely not in a fucking library. No, you wouldn't be at a library. You don't know that. I know that. <laughs>
fucking <laughs> wired. You're right, I don't. Pax, if you could change one thing about each other, what would it be? Oh, I want you to be more spontaneous. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. What would I change about you? Go ahead. He's like, hold on, let me pull up the laundry list. Ah. Oh, um, I'd say maybe, maybe a little bit less um, high maintenance. You know, Ooh. If, and that's a dangerous that's a territory good one. No, that's to track. A good one. In, I agree. At Lexi Lopez says, is it hard keeping up with Nikita's day to day? Yes and no. I okay. mean, like, no, and the fact that you post, you know, you post some of the big things going on, but uh, but you also, you know, have your own private life, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, you know, I got to do my job to to keep tabs on what's going on. And, oh, keeping tabs. Yeah. What makes you like him so much? What do you see in him slash me? Um, like, what do I see? Honor, that's a good question. What, what thing question. do I see? Why do I like you? Yeah. Um, no, I, I mean, I feel like Michael's so chill. And I think he, like, fascinates me because, like, again, we're so different, I feel like. And he's just, like, literally the most opposite person from me, and I guess it's a good challenge. Yeah. I feel like you challenged me. Yeah, in a good way. Good. Yeah, I mean, not in like in a crazy Sounds way. Important. But I feel like obviously for a long time, like I think that, um, like especially going through this whole thing, like I just like always would like, if I was interested in a guy or like whatever it may be, like just like, with a boy in, in general in the equation, right. like I always would give them this like fantasy thing mm. that was never really me. And for some reason, I don't know, like I just like, like when I met him, I just thought like I just felt so Inside. comfortable, yeah. you know. And I was like, well, I've never been like truthful before, and that sounds awful. Right. But I've, I've never like you know kind of authentically been myself with like a guy just in general, whether it be a friend or whatever. Right. Um. And yeah. <gasps> I into that. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Let's open up the fantasy baby. Oh, bitch. That's oh. everything. So the biggest thing like with me, like I, I always would put color control on and then I would have to like put powder on put top powder, yeah. or just like set it with something. But yeah. this I wanted to have it self set. And the thing is it doesn't mix with your foundation or your concealer. So if you lay it down, it's just gonna cancel and neutralize. And wow, then, that's so dope. And I it, need it does, this 100%. It, lit it literally does not move. So, and you feel like that, that's just literally like a second skin. Like, it's so velvety. Love that. That's so good. So we have a beautiful light pink and light yellow Ooh. shade. And so these are basically like light diffusing powders. Mm -hmm. So if you place it under your eye, center of the forehead, chin, it like just creates this like, as if you have like a spotlight on your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. At Happily Roxanne said, what was the worst fight you had? Uh, 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 we're, um, we're lovers, not fighters. I mean. I remember you got a little bit too faded one time. I, what, what was that for? What? It was, for, it was the milk, milk makeup party. Oh yeah, and I kinda let you have it, huh? Yeah, you got a little bit crazy. Well, that was the first time I was like genuinely mad at you. But what were you mad about? <laughs> because, that, because you flicked on me. Oh, that's right, that's right. So yeah, you guys, yeah. we had this, do you, me, do you want me to bring it up? We can bring no, it up. Okay. I mean, we can bring it up. Whoever whoever asked that question, thanks for that. For yeah, sure. of course. I mean, if you're gonna f***ing bring me up being faded. Okay. No, I'm. we had a moment because we were like, we're supposed to go do something. We're supposed to go bowling. Uh -huh, cool. I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'll book bowling for you, right. your roommate, his girl. And yes. I got one for me. Yeah. And so I booked it, but like to get a reservation, you have to um, obviously put down money. So it was like, uh -huh. I don't know, like $150 or whatever, bullshit. Um, but then, I was like getting ready. We're supposed to meet at eight. Of course, I'm so late. And I'm like, damn, I should probably get a, be getting a text right now being like, where are you? And I was gonna be like, oh, I'm in my Uber, like on the way. Uh, I haven't even put on a wig or whatever. What to, yeah. And then homie's like, oh, sorry, I can't. I'm so sorry. sorry. It was a last minute thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, I like you. Yeah, yeah. The real Krizzy asked, what was my first impression of Nikita? The impression was great. I mean, I remember leaving thinking like, you know, who is that? Like, the conversation happened so quick. I think you were leaving, you were going to another yeah. party or something. But yeah, I remember really enjoying that conversation and being interested in, you know, who you were and what you were about. So, 
She made you test any products from her new line. Oh, that would be good. Are you down? Just a little, like... Maybe a little... A little... Just a little... All right, um, Midwest Fag says, would... <laughs> That's says, literally his Twitter name, though. That's really his Twitter name. Midwest Fag. This All is right. your... Okay, good. Would he do... This is me. <laughs> would he do Survivor again if he was invited back? Um, the answer is yes. <gasps> Ooh. Depending on the time. Yes. Because, you know. You're so booked and busy. <laughs> well, that and. A, and a fashion shit. model icon. At Blossom Bunny says, do you style him sometimes or each other? Oh, um, all the time. She, yeah, I she mean, styles me. Clearly, look at this thing. That's all her vision. Oh my god, just pulled up. Um, here's a oh. present for you. Thank you so much. He's so you. cute. You're oh, the best, you. honey. Oh. All right, come on. Oh. Draw this shit. Oh my god. Do it. No, you're fine. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. The best reactions I hate her. Oh my gosh. I'm this obsessed with like Game awesome. of Thrones and like. <gasps> Ooh. What's the Dragon Beauty hashtag? Hashtag Dragon Diva. How has makeup played a part in your personal transformation? For me, makeup like I, it was like like tools, you know, to create sure. and kind of like not live, but like you know, yeah. kind of like alter your features exactly. to make yourself look better. They gave better. you a lot of room to be. Yeah. How does your boyfriend feel about so many guys probably trying to get in your DMs since you're so gorgeous? Um, Tyga, Tyga, watch out. That's all I'm saying. Tyga, you better. <laughs> Which one of Nikita's wigs are your favorite? Definitely today. Oh, oh, I like short right. blondes, dope. Because that's like kind of like classy. Yeah. And then I like the white too. Wait, like the one I wore the other day? That's gray. Wait. Okay. The long I don't ass know, one? I don't know the words. Wait, okay, the long ass the, one that I wore? The long one, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cute. Yeah. Um, my favorite is blonde. I've been living for like the darker colors, like the dark blues and like the dark purple. I did red once, okay. and it w looks really good, but it's just a lot. How big is he? And I'm six feet, one inch tall, <laughs> and I am 190 pounds. Big dick, that pounds. big dick. That's how big I am. Hey, hoes and bitches. It's, you know, us. Got a present oh. for you. Ooh, it's big. <laughs> oh! oh my god! <sighs> bitch, I'm so proud of this bitch. Mm -hmm. So first we have my Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. Did she stutter? This can alter and change the shape of your face. Ooh. And how the light hits you. So a peach for a little bit more of a softer moment. We love that. Yellow to intensify to even more bright. You know, mm -hmm. you feel? Honestly, I just can't wait because I know there's gonna be a Dragon Beauty X Bretman motherfucking rock in the works. So keep oh. a lookout. What's one annoying quality that he she has? Michael's annoying quality. You can pass. No, I'm like trying to think. I'm just trying to narrow it down to one. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one. I feel like we're both pretty bad texters. Yeah. Yeah. That's just it. Is that your way of saying that Michael, you're a bad texter? Yeah, you're a bad texter. Am I? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I prefer in person. Alexis Dye says, do you feel like social media could affect your relationship in a really negative way? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's I, I kind mean, of a no-brainer. Social I mean, media just can like, affect anything. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen it like destroy friendships, relationships, like ever anything you can think of. Like social media is like the new monster. All right, at Mer Mer Babe XO said, "What's your favorite perfume?" Sweat. Sweat. Bye. What do I smell like? What do you smell every single time? Like we're together, I smell. You smell a certain way, and I leave, and I keep smelling on and on and on. It's it's like it's a like it's like, it's like like a no. It's like a flowery. Okay. Like a flowery, misty something. I don't know. Like you people tell you that all the time. Oh, all the time. Yeah. I have I have a very specific smell. Yeah. 
Yeah. People are like, oh my god, I met Nikita Dragon. I'm never showering again in my life. <laughs> no, a lot of times, like, I'll be in the elevator or I'll go somewhere and someone's like, oh, like, were you just in the elevator? Or, yeah. like, something, like, you know? Yeah. Very specific. Or, like, with Michael, I'll, like, leave my scent on him. Yeah. You know? Gotta let these bitches know. What's your favorite product in your makeup line? Right, it always switches a little bit, but like the th like they go together. So I feel like I can't right now have a favorite one because right. I use them both every single day, and I genuinely need that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I can't use, I can't just have one favorite. But I think my favorite one to show people is the brightening powder, just because I feel like it's so hard to like understand and wrap your mind around. But like right. once you do it and show it, then people are like, oh, sh okay, that makes sense. All right, you guys, we are officially done with our Lambo deliveries. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Dragon Beauty on dragonbeauty.com. I'm so excited for my very first launch. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And don't forget, breathe fire, my dragons. Hey. Honestly, if your money doesn't have your face on it, don't at me, period. Let it, 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 let it,